<laughs> Good morning and welcome to Western Baptist Church. We're going to start off as we normally do with a song and it's a brand new one. So the girls here are going to help us with the actions. For those of you that know it, it's called Bigger Than Big. Good morning, Western Baptist Church. My name's Liz, and today we're going to be going right towards the beginning of the Bible, to Exodus. So that's fairly near the front, Genesis first, and the second book of the Bible is Exodus. And we're going to be hearing about somebody called Moses, who was born in Egypt. And we're over the next few weeks, we're going to be hearing about his birth and his life um, and how he acted for God now, Moses was an Israelite, so let's just have a bit of a recap, kind of the history. So what happened in Genesis? So there was a, a man called Abraham and he man married Sarah. They had a son called Isaac and Isaac had twins. One of them was Jacob and Jacob had 12 sons. And we may be quite familiar with the story of Joseph. So he was uh, sold into slavery into Egypt, but then there was a famine and all his brothers came and they came to live in Egypt and they were called Israelites. And because Joseph um, was in favour with the king, he'd interpreted the dreams and he knew there was going to be a famine um, and he kind of saved the people. Um, the Israelites were allowed to live in peace at that time in Egypt. But now in Exodus, all of Joseph's uh, brothers and Joseph himself have died. It's a few years later and there's lots of lots of Israelites and they're all slaves now to the Egyptians. So God's people are uh, need rescuing. Okay, ready with our listening ears? Right, tell me what this sound is. Yes, it could be an ambulance or a police car or a fire engine. It's an emergency vehicle, isn't it? And what does it mean when it's making that siren? It's got to rescue somewhere, it's someone. It's got to get there quickly. Now, do you remember a time where you needed rescuing? Hopefully not. But I remember when I was a little girl and I was swimming and then the wave pool came on and I kept swallowing water and I was struggling to, to stay on top and it was scary. And a lady came along and she picked me up and she put me onto the side and I felt relieved that I'd been saved. Now this story that we're going to hear is, is about a rescue of some, some sorts. So let's hear about Moses. Baby in a basket. Many years passed, a new pharaoh ruled over Egypt. He did not know about the good things Joseph had done. 
By now there were many people in Jacob's family. They were called Israelites. Pharaoh did not like the Israelites. He made them work hard. One day Pharaoh decided to get rid of all the Israelite baby boys. A woman named Jochebed had a baby boy. She wanted to save him. So she gently laid her baby inside a basket and placed him in the river. The baby started to cry. Pharaoh's daughter saw the basket and opened it. She gently picked up the baby and hugged him. I want to keep you, the princess whispered. She named him Moses because she had pulled him out of the water. Miriam, the baby's big sister, had been watching nearby. She said to the princess, I know a woman who can, take, who can help you take care of the baby. So Miriam ran to her mother. Jochebed was so happy. When Moses was a young boy, Jochebed returned him to the princess. He grew up in the palace. We're now going to make a Moses basket. First we need to make a square. So fold the paper diagonally like so and fold off the end and then cut it to leave us with a square. Fold it in half to make a rectangle and then again to make a square. Take each of the edges, fold it up to the top, and then fold over all of the other bits of paper. Open it up to make a pocket in the middle, and then fold flat. Push the bottom and you'll see it pops up to make the cabin of your boat. Sometimes this works better than others. And if so, put in a prayer and you'll see that your boat floats. We have been playing the conquer game. We've put our baskets into the water. So that was like Jochebed. That's Moses' mummy and she put the basket with, jo with Moses in into the water. And we're filling it with conkers. And we can say a prayer or say thank you to Jesus every time we put uh -oh. a conquer in. You're just sinking. Oh no. Oh no. Mummy's is sinking. Right, can we see that plane there? Now how do we know that that is a rescue plane? We can see the people loading someone onto the plane on a stretcher and they're going to fly away to safety. There's some symbols on the, tr on the plane. Do we know what that means? Yes, the Red Cross. So it's a medical organisation that helps people and protects them and rescues them. But we have a, another reason to uh, focus on the cross. Now, we all do things wrong sometimes, don't we? And I mean that we might feel cross or angry. We might not listen to our parents or we might be mean to somebody. And we need to say sorry to God when we do these things. Um, but God has a rescue plan for us and he sent Jesus. So let's have a look. Now when we're cross and we've sinned and we've done the wrong things, it separates us from God. It means we can't reach him, but God has a rescue plan for us. And it's this cross. It's the fact that Jesus came here to earth and he died for us so that our sins can be forgiven and that we can have eternal life. So let's read what it says in the Bible about that. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And that's John 3, 16. How amazing is that? God is our rescuer and he sent Jesus so that we can be saved and join him in heaven. So me and Tamsin are going to put our handprints right in the middle of the cross. That's it, good painting. Put it in the middle. To remember the amazing sacrifice and the rescuer of Jesus coming to earth. Because Jesus came, didn't he? to rescue us and rescue the whole world. 
And that's so amazing. Do you want to do it everywhere? No. There, there's my handprint. There's your handprint. Are you putting another one on? We'll put one for Daddy and one for Flynn, shall we, as well? Brilliant. So every time you see some rescue vehicles or see the Red Cross symbol, you could thank God for rescuing us and thank you that Jesus came to earth to be our saviour. And you could pray for the people that, um, that need help, that need saving, that need rescuing. So when you see that police car zooming past or that ambulance zooming past, we can just remember the amazing thing that Jesus has done for us and we'll pray. And we'll pray now. Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, we thank you for those people that are here on earth that rescue us, that keep us safe and well, those that work for the NHS and the emergency services, those that risk themselves to keep us safe and to save us. We thank you for sending Jesus to earth so that he can rescue us and save us all. Thank you, Lord, for the wonderful gift of Jesus, our Saviour, our Rescuer. Amen. Amen.